a field of eight for the first division of the Glen Garnsey Memorial, honoring that late horseman who won so many Grand Circuit races, not only here at the Red Mile, but throughout the country. Bunny Lake, New York Sire Stakes champ, has won 13 in a row, meeting up with Jugat winner, Pleasure Chest in the first of two divisions. And they're off, and Bunny Lake jumps out quickly to grab the early lead. Raging Heart being sent out of there by Luke, and she's putting in some bad steps there. Raging Heart got steppy early. Gothic Lady is right in behind the lead. She's racing third on the inside. Prettiest gal in town fourth as Raging Heart gets rough again, continuing her march toward the front. Jenna's first lady on the inside is fifth. Pleasure Chest is gapped early. She's two lengths further back. Give Me Life up on the bit from seventh. And Castanet Hall backed off the gate and trails the field. And Bunny Lake hits the quarter in a comfortable 28-2 for her. Gothic Lady up on the inside is gapped back slightly in second. Raging Heart is stuck there on the outside. First over in third. Up the inside, prettiest gal in town is fourth. Then it's Jenna's first lady in fifth position. Sixth is Pleasure Chest, and she's been flushed to the outside by Give Me Life, and Castanet Hall will have to do it from the back of the pack. She trails the field, and Bunny Lake is loose on the lead as they move toward the half-mile marker, and she's there in 55-3, and three, a 27-3 and three second quarter. So it's Bunny Lake is two and a half lengths clear. Gothic Lady keeping pace with her in the pocket in second. Prettiest gal in town third. Tough trip for Raging Heart who's been out all the way. Jenna's first lady jammed into her inside. Dull cover for Pleasure Chest is going to have to go three deep. Give me life from the back of the pack. Fans three wide. And Caston at Hall also jammed in traffic as Bunny Lake hits three quarters in 123 and two. So they come to the top of the stretch and Bunny Lake is pouring it on here. She's six lengths in front with little more than an eighth of a mile to come. Gothic Lady is racing in second. Prettiest gal in town third. Jenna's first lady fourth on the outside, but Bunny Lake has what looks to be an insurmountable lead. Prettiest gal in town has moved into second. Jenna's first lady on the outside third with Give Me Life, but it's Bunny Lake, and Bunny Lake will do it. Bunny Lake wins it. Finishing second, Jenna's first lady. Give Me Life was third and one. 52 and one. Returning to the winner's circle, number two, Bunny Lake. Three-year-old New York bred daughter of Precious Bunny out of the Abercrombie Mare, Lake Nona, owned by W Springtime Racing Stable from Johnstown, New York. John Stark Jr. trains and drives. 14 wins in a row for Bunny Lake, scoring here in 152 and 15th to take the first division of the Glen Garnsey Memorial. And one of Glen Garnsey's greatest performers, Abercrombie, is the sire of the dam of Bunny Lake, Lake Nona. Trackside to make the trophy presentation, Dr. Glenn Brown and Dr. Moira Gunn from Armstrong Brothers, longtime owners with the Glen Garnsey Stable. This race sponsored by the Armstrong Brothers and also the Kentuckiana Farms of Tom Crouch. Now the Armstrong Brothers have been standard bred industry leaders for more than 40 years, founded by Hall of Famer J. Elgin Armstrong and his brother Ted. Their legacy has been carried on by children and grandchildren and also under the guidance of Dr. Glenn Brown. So we thank the Armstrong Brothers and the Kentuckiana Farms for sponsoring the Glenn Garnsey Memorial today here at the Red Mile. And Hall of Famer Glenn Garnsey, truly one of the top horsemen in the sport, developed so many champions like Abercrombie, like Fan Hanover, like Del Megan, like Colonial Charm, and so many others. The memory of Glenn Garnsey honored today at the Red Mile with the Glenn Garnsey Memorial. Number three, prettiest gal in town, four. Number four, Jenna's first lady, two. 